Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Alright, we made it to the 1880s in the Wild West, and we gotta get Tennessee Cooper out. Like, by getting ourselves in prison. Why? They're already ringing a noose for Tennessee, so we don't have time for a complicated plan. All my data points to one thing. The quickest route inside that prison is to get yourself arrested. Get myself arrested? I trust you, Bentley, but I'm not sure about getting locked up in this town. Sorry, Sly. It's the only way we're gonna reach Tennessee in time. There's just one problem. They're holding Kid Cooper in the maximum security wing. To get yourself thrown in there, you're gonna have to gain outlaw status. So you need to make sure you build a rep before they catch you. Otherwise, they'll throw you in with the common criminals. Ugh. You mean like jaywalkers and litterbugs? Not gonna happen. Well, around these parts, it's probably more like goat thieves and tobacco spinners. But you get the point. For starters, why don't you try defacing all those posters of the sheriff around town? That ought to put a burr under his saddle. Get it? Because we're in the old west? Well, anyway, I'll just let you get started. Really going out of their way to protect those posters, too. So that might be the best way to get everyone angry. Find a poster, make it look goofy, and move on. Just like junior high. Very nice, Sly. Not for sale. It's Puny Greenhorn. Oh, hello. Did he just fire that, like, just for no reason? Because they don't have to worry about stray bullets in this universe. Alright, next bottle. I mean, next poster. And there's a bottle there, too. I bet the original artist damaged his vision staring at this guy. Oh, he's going to hate that one. <laughs> Let's hope so. It's called No Good Law Man. <laughs> All right, let's... That's bottle number eight, and I see number nine. Well, like I said, I'm not committed to, like, getting all the bottles, but if I could get most of them early... Also, watch out for that train. It'll make getting them, if I decide to, go a little bit smoother. Than having to get, like, say, 20-plus bottles in one go. Getting like 10 or so in one go ain't so bad. Oh, another poster over there, too. And a random lizard if you want to mark it. If I was as homely as this guy, I would not hang my picture everywhere. Excellent work, Sly. I wish I could tear them down. Here's Weakling of the West. Also, why the hell do I just have, like, a random bucket of paint with me? As if I knew I was going to do something like this. Well, I had a time. I uh, guess I can't question it, because it's video game logic. But it gives a lot to talk about. Sorry. I don't think Bane begins to describe this guy. That's a beaut, Sly. It's an improvement. I'll name this one the Homely Buckaroo. Is that another poster up there? No. Guess I shouldn't hit that because that's going to go boom. Whoops. I shagged up. I saw a bottle there. I want it. Excellent. Okay, second last one. No, wait, that's the safe. 
Not a poster. Dang it. I gotta go over this way. What kind of sheriff puts up posters of himself? Ten star loser. I'm getting really annoyed at the capture card just cutting out during cutscenes. Like, that's just the worst part. I even unhook it and hook it back up before I hit record. This guy's a real egomaniac. I'm going to find this artist and bust his thumbs! And me, his pinky. There's Toothpick. <laughs> we definitely got under his skin, Sly. You ready for phase two? Absolutely. Apparently, the sheriff also loves lollipops. But his favorite is a particular Cuban variety, which has to be shipped in specially. Supposedly, they taste like rice and beans. Ugh, gross. Agreed. But if we clean him out, he'll have to wait weeks for the next shipment, and that should really tick him off. I just gotta deal with a lollipop now. That's the kind of thing that would get you in a maximum security prison in this world. What a sad armadillo. Sadder than the one in Mega Man X if you shock him, that's for sure. Close one. That's it right there. Good. Mine. Hmm. I bet Murray would like that lollipop. Great job! You just became a criminal spy. Then I just start like uh putting a toothpaste in his uh, ice cream, and that would get me the death penalty. Seems like this. Oh. All right, this is going perfectly. You'll be locked up in no time. You know, you're a little too excited about sending me to the slammer, Bentley. It's all about the job, Sly. Speaking of which, in case you hadn't noticed, this sheriff toothpick is his own biggest fan. In fact, it looks like he's throwing himself a festival, and it's in full swing. If you take that banner down. I'm sure it'll be the final straw. Right. Let's go rain on this guy's parade. I bet he also hates rain. And demands that weather cater to him. I just need to hey, knock those clothes. Just need to get up to that banner. <clears throat> How the hell do I even get up that high? I thought this would work. Uh oh. Nope, I'm going in the water. Do I do this? No! God, why'd you all the things to go the other way? Can't believe it's banner dumping. Yep, this is the spot. Okay, there's the banner. Hold your fires, boys! The jailbird costume. I was like, oh, great, I gotta dress up as a prisoner.
Gotta carry the stone of shame. Thank God I don't have a birthmark. Oh, is there any new gimmicks? Rail sprint? While on any rail, press and hold R1 to sprint. Okay. Steerable fist spin. Allows Mary to steer his fist spin when using the left stick. Press R2 after dropping a bomb to trigger the bomb's detonation with R2. I can work with that. Jailhouse Blues. I don't know how I'm gonna get far. Wild West is not really known for being wheelchair accessible. Oh, that's right. I don't have to use R1. I have to use X. I'm probably gonna press the wrong button at least once in every video in this playthrough. I can see it now. Looks like it's up to me to recall the area. I need to get some shots of that prison. But I better keep a low profile. I don't want to alert the guards. Or let's just make sure that they're not around to know that I did it. Uh oh, that that one really wants it. Sly and Tennessee Kid Cooper are in that high What? Tower. I was being shot at. It's like, oh, he's just taking a picture. Better leave him alone. I can't believe that actually worked. You want to go again, huh? I'll just keep knocking you down. See ya, I'm bored. You're not worth my time. That scream. Aha. That's an interesting side. Let me get a shot. The arsenal. Ah, unless I'm mistaken, that is definitely a munitions dump. Very handy. In case I need to blow a hole to get in there. Oh, this does not seem like the right way to go. Oh, that's treasure. Uh, I don't think Benley's the right person for this. But maybe I can wheel it real fast. Go. Go. Bottle of Sarsaparilla. Only 153 coins for that. What a ripoff. But, aha! There is clearly some structural weakness along the rear wall. Good thing you didn't put the munitions there. Or did they? Huh, the gunslinger trophy. You could just get a new lollipop. yourself. Looks like you must have ticked old toothpick off pretty good. I like that. You got a name? It's Sly. Sly Cooper. Now, son, you should know I don't take kindly to folks funning on my family name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear, I'm not joking. I can explain. Talk ain't worth spit, boy. Only one way to prove you're a Cooper. Bust us out of here. Right. My friend Bentley's working on that. I hope. Slide press the square button to swing that ball. You'll swing.
bash through that wall like it's the... Why? You need to make your way to the bottom of the tower. Okay, so this is a pretty cool ability. You can just, like, throw a ball and be able to cause some damage. Oh, can't change the costume. As long as Gad Gadget Grid is a new costume, you can use a new costume by holding L2. Like that. You lucky ass chicken. Alright, your freedom is near. Ugh, can I get closer? I guess break time is over. You can probably move that container if you hit it hard enough, Fly. Like that. Why am I the only one with a ball and chain here? Well, friend, you're planning on hanging me tomorrow. You want to trade? No, I'm good. Ow! That was a spider that did that. Yo, they... Are we in Australia? Like, Wild West Australia? The spiders are that large? Okay, nothing over there. I was just checking. Alright, where are we heading? Over there. Huh? There we go. This is the future capitalists want. <laughs> What do you think I'm trying to do, dude? Bentley is also the kind of turtle that would want to uh, pay time off to be illegal, too. If he had his way. Naturally. Thanks, Bentley. Son, who is it you keep talking to? Uh, I have a thing in my ear that lets me talk to my friend. And now he's telling me you need to carry some of that TNT so we can blow the gate. Sure. I got voices in my head telling me to blow things up, too. Eh, they've been right so far. Let's get to it. <laughs> I'm glad he's playing along with all this.
Find a way across the water. I guess I can just use this. Look around, Sly. There's bound to be a switch somewhere. Figure I'll wait by the door while you work this one out. Oh. Okay. You leave it all to me. They all leave it up to me. I think if I hit all these. There we go. Uh, try not to forget who's carrying the dynamite. Silver belt buckle. Ooh, that's a good one. Well, looks like we can mosey along now. Nice job, Sly. I'm thinking this toothpick fella really loves hearing his own voice. A little too much. Oh. Oh. There we go. Fly, use that melting pot to move Tennessee forward. Just avoid the flame. Hmm. Well, looks like our goose ain't cooked yet. Okay, I guess I gotta wait for the fire to go away. Now I can make you go. Fantastic. I should probably come along too. Why does this guy need a massive spike pit anyway? You will get as young as when I say you get young. I mean, I can only go when these things are shut. You trying to get me cooked, Bentley? Let's keep moving along. Are we out yet? Oh no. Well, it looks like somebody's supplying toothpick with new technology. That is a face car for race lie. What touch means instant death. Switch it to your jailbird costume and try using that ball in a different way. Press the R2 button to get on top of it. You should be able to ride it around using the left stick. Oh no. Okay, at least I'm going in the same direction that I'm rolling. None of that holding down to go up. That kind of deal. That should shut it off. Could you imagine if I rolled right into him and detonated the damn thing? Especially since it seems I can break things just by rolling into them. Fly, it appears that archway in front of the door is some kind of locking mechanism. And that block is the key. Now you just need to figure out how to get it in there. So, tell me about Sheriff Toothpick. Toothpick? That shady son of a gun is crookeder than a sack of corkscrews. Plus, he framed me for that bank job and took the gold himself. I just knew. 
I'm already not looking forward to this. I gotta do some kind of sliding puzzle. I guess I gotta get all three of these onto there. This is the only one that's different. So I think I just gotta get that lined up like that. That should do it. Now I need to push it over here. Boy, this just keeps on going, doesn't it? How long does this go? Yeah, just get into the spots where there is no laser. And then just roll across the gaps. Sounds pretty simple. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Close one. Almost rolled right off. I can't hit that one yet. That should shut it off. Push the final block into place. Will do. Oh, you can't smash those bricks? It's up to you now. Oh, why do I have to go? But Tennessee, we need to go. You ready? Well, uh, not really. Too bad. Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown, how he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper Lore as his masterpiece, only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. And after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the Sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. 
He eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were gonna steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. Well, first thing we need to do is see what else we can buy. Ooh, steerable cane spin. And heat seeking. Hold triangle and release it to drop a heat seeking bomb. That seems pretty rad. All right, Bentley, it's your turn. Again. All right, Cooper for hire. Why is my phone vibrating again? That was nothing special. You move. Oh. It's on ground level. Okay, the first order of business is getting Tennessee his guns back. Well, it's just the one gun now. I upgraded. But yeah, I need my shooting iron back. Agreed. Uh, according to my sources, Toothpick closed this old gold mine several months ago, declaring it unsafe. In fact, he's converted it to a storage facility for his stolen goods, including Tennessee's gun. We'll need to take measures with this job so as not to arouse suspicion. So, employing a masterful disguise, I'll tail Toothpick to the mine's entrance and mark it with a homing beacon. Murray, you'll then use the beacon to find your way there. Toothpick's sure to have secured the entrance, so we'll need your formidable skills to get it open. Then, once we have access, Tennessee can get in and get his gun back. Let's get to work. Okay, I need to keep up with this guy. I better stay close, but out of direct... <laughs> oh, I was about to get by the box. Do it again. Okay. I need to keep up with this guy. I better stay close, but out of direct sight. Hmm. <laughs> I'm starting to think this guy's a Just little too paranoid. The gold with the boss. Doesn't mean I've got to split it right down the middle. <laughs> I'm on him like encryption on a data stream. Oh. <laughs> I need to get myself a nice cool drink. Pronto. On second thought, I should have gone with a sombrero. This isn't too huh? Uh oh. Ooh, a bottle. I should get a bottle of something too. Of nothing. That's it. Ah, only one thing's better than some gold, and that's a lot of gold. How far out of town is this place? You're gonna have a hideout, of course you're gonna have it pretty far. I'm right behind you, Gabby. I thought his name is Toothpick. Good. We're done. And nobody's going to find this entrance. Time to take a little look. That's my goal! <laughs> All right, time 
to open up a can of hack. Ah, oh, scorpions! Guys, help! Yee-haw! The cavalry's are coming! Don't worry, Bentley. I got the bug spray right here. Okay, it's R1 to shoot. Okay, try not to let the guns overheat, though. And then you should be fine. At least I can use the TNT if I ever want to. There's only a finite amount of it. But it still does the job. More are there? Hope you don't. Hope I don't accidentally shoot Bentley during this. Otherwise, it's gonna open up a lot of Sly One memories. First docking gate. I need more clock speed. Better use the speeder code. Time for that upgrade slot. Speeder code engaged. Updating physics code module. And voila! Elastic projectiles. Perfect for shooting around corners. Ooh. That's a nice blue color, too. I just do it like this. There we go. I can't take this security on directly. Time to bounce some shots around the corner. Okay, this is actually pretty neat. I like this uh, ability. The speeder's laser loop will work perfectly on that switch. If I press and hold the R2 button while moving the ship. I can close a damaging laser loop around a target. Oh? Okay, now we're just opening up Pokemon Ranger vibes. Oh, that's right, you have to be green to get a key. Now for the second one. You think? Yikes, just looking at that wormhole is making me dizzy. I better steer clear of that. Oh, they can't go in the wormhole, it seems. Fine, I'll just ignore them. Okay, you can do them both at once. That's cool. Whoop! Beautiful. I need to use the data key on that lock to defeat right, the fire. There's gotta be a lock for this around here. Another one? Yep. Oh wow! The shots that split are gonna cause problems. Alright, I guess we'll just use this. Ah! Get out of there! I'm getting myself absolutely destroyed. Can't have any of this. There. That was a little rougher than it needed to be. But we got it. Yes, the data key. 
they don't come back. They don't. The gate is open. Time to dock the ship. Security, thy game is hacked. over a target. Then I just press the R1 button to pull the trigger. Yes, sir. It's all coming back to that. Guess I better make tracks before old Toothpick finds out. Okay, well, at least I have a ranged weapon. I wonder what old Toothpick is cooking up in here. Huh. Definitely not breakfast. <laughs> I guess I'll just shoot at it. Like so. Huh? Oh. I was too close. That's why I couldn't hit it. Uh oh. Ow! Guess we gotta do it melee style, huh? Better that than brawl style. Oh! I thought I was only supposed to deal with those big spiders and Pokemon. This big old door is gonna require my crack shot technique. First, I press and hold the R2 button to enter crack shot mode. Next, I can use the right stick to move the cursor and draw a bead on multiple targets. Then I just release the R2 button to blast them. I can only use crack shot when my Cooper focus is full. This one's tricky. I need to shoot all those locks at the same time. All right, the door's open. Get going, Tennessee. I'm going. We try jumping to a different rail using the X button. And see, I'm detecting a strong electric current on the rails. Keep your eyes open. Stop that electricity, Tennessee. Okay, that seems easy enough. This is more fun than square dancing with a donkey. What? Why would you square dance with a donkey? I mean, there are safer ways, but you do you. These rails are quicker than a six-legged coyote. Get wrecked. Time for a dirt nap, boys. Uh-oh. Maybe I should go over there. Oh no, I destroyed the dynamite. Could have used that. Are these two immune to bullets? Because nothing seems to be working. Clear. 
when you had a chance. Yeah, I don't think they can die. He's not with bullets. Let's use more conventional means. Ah, damn it! I thought I could sneak, boy. Don't some of bitches. Just run. A bit sloppy, but it worked. Fine, we'll get rid of them that way. Wait, how did I know I was there? Huh? See ya! This was not the uh, method I had in mind to get through. Just go, 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 go. Oh, this mode again. This part again. You couldn't catch me with a bolt of lightning. Remember, you can use any of your shooting skills while rail sliding. That ain't nothing stopping me now. God, I hope I don't have to actually use crack shot while I'm railing. Railing? Yep, it's not that kind of game. Push. Oh, come on! How am I not dead yet? Man, this ain't even fair for you. Hmm, let me see if crack shot actually does work. Like going to water himself like an idiot. Oh come on! Don't die to a spider, and then gravity. You boys should have just skedaddled. How much deeper does his mind even go? That guy must really like gold so much. Get wrecked. Great, Tennessee. Keep it up. You hombres don't know when to quit. I mean, do any of us? At this point, why would I? Nito. That was just for a mask. I need to do this to get out. Oh, 
Okay, I can just do a regular aim. Uh-oh. At least that slows down time when you're doing it. And now we got my gun back. Or his gun back. <laughs> oh, we got that's new clothesline. <laughs> oh, Murray's just gonna take care of the laundry. Double tap R1, then steer the attack with the left stick. Am I gonna remember to do that? Will this be a move I ever use? Let's do a saloon bug. That might be the last mission I do on this episode. Maybe. This is kind of a game like I kind of don't want to stop. I just want to keep playing. So far this is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's better than Sly 2 or 3. But it has its charm. What it does not have is very reasonable loading times. This is just horrendous. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I get enough mass that I have this unlocked now? I get a monkey glider or a camo paraglider. I'm going to turn this one on. I gotta wait for that to save too, thank you. That's for getting a whole bunch of masks. It's not that much camo. Don't you know it's not safe to play with dynamite? War with guns. Into the abyss with you. And with you. Oh, wow. You just fire your gun on wake up, don't you? Huh? How do I get up there? Oh, duh. I try using a pipe. Jeffing's office is somewhere in the upper levels of the saloon. To find out what he's planning, our best bet is to plant a bug. Needless to say, we must remain undetected. Conveniently, I discovered they're looking for a new bartender. So I'll go in, undercover, and control the situation by introducing the patrons my special home-brewed sarsaparilla. Your mustache looks... bigger. What have you been feeding it? Pay attention, Sly. You'll need to enter through that window and make your way to the ventilation system. Meanwhile, I'll have the goons inside so sugared up, they'll be seeing double until they crash. Hard. Once you launch the RC car in the vents, I'll take control and guide it to Toothpick's office. You're not going to start wearing that mustache all the time, are you? Jealousy is such an ugly emotion, Sly. Oh, I got nothing to be jealous about. <laughs> Get to the saloon. First off... What's the... Oh. I guess that'll help me get up there. That bottle is going to be distracting. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know there's one up there. But can I get it right now? No, I have to use the car. This place looks pretty rough. Will do. See you inside. Greetings. I've been in 
Ford, this establishment is in dire need of an expert staff jockey. <laughs> Got sarsaparilla? Well, these guys look thirsty. Let's see. I can move left and right simply by using the left stick. When a patron steps up to the bar, I can slide him a drink by pressing the X button. These guys don't look like patient types, so I'd better make it fast. I'd better keep an eye on the sarsaparilla gauge. It's going to take my whole supply to quiet this bunch. The meter should indicate how much sarsaparilla I have left. Something tells me it's gonna take every drop. Oh dear. Give me one. Like no. One please. Jeez, this is making me thirsty. What is that for Lenny? Is that like just root beer? Damn! They thirsty as fuck! Solid so far. Oh, I got stuck. Thought I wasn't gonna make that jump. I was getting worried. I'll show you a roll soon enough if I need to use it. Yeah, sounds easy, right? Knock the sarsaparilla vat into place. I think you go this way? Is that how you do it? Well, it's telling me to go there. Looks like that's the place. Bet you there's a mask down here, too. Up there! Are you kidding me? You can probably move that container if you hit it hard enough, Fly. Oh. Uh oh, maybe I should get off that. What container? This one? Oh, okay, I see what I gotta do. That makes sense. And now I gotta hit it again. Good thing the cameras don't notice, hey, this wasn't in that spot before. Why is it there? What? Uh oh. Nope, 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 not yet. Oh, you could climb that the whole time. I thought there was going to be electric. Okay, it seems fine. Oop. 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 And... Perfect. To that vent. 
Uh, I don't know if that mask is worth it. Made it! Screw that bottle. I guess I can just drive right into it. Ooh, which way? Let's try going forward. Maybe it won't even matter. Or will it? Man, they should be hiring us for pest control. Through here? Oh, they go the same way. So what was the point of that? That's right, I did nothing wrong by actually shooting my own ally. I I, I needed to, like, uh, save some money for our budget. Yeah, that's what it was. And I didn't want him going to the press, so he had to go. To hell! Fusion ammo. But some of you ain't heard it right because your lingo is still stale as Mondo Cornbread. Shoot, the ways you talk now ain't worth a blood nickel. It sticks in Alright, line date. Um, I think this would be a good time to stop it here. So in the next episode, we'll be playing and doing this jab. See everyone, thanks for watching.